Hi, Mofsi members. It feels like just yesterday we got together in Palm Springs for a record-breaking Mofsi conference, attended by almost 750 members. Thank you for your unparalleled support and engagement. I'd like to give a special thank you to our allied partners who attended. From NAFM, we had Rich Packer, NAFM president and COO from American Metalcraft Inc., and Deidre Flynn, their executive vice president. From Cefesa, we welcome Cefesa president Nick Cribb, also president of Sam Service Inc., and their executive director, Heather Price. Joining us from FCSI of the Americas was Chair Christine Guillaume from Rippey Associates. And representing FIDA, we had Dave Stafford, president and CEO of Stafford Smith Inc. At the conference, Nick Cribb gave us an outstanding keynote address on perseverance. And I especially want to thank Mr. Rich Packer now NAFM ex officio, for the stylish t-shirt I'm wearing. FIDA, FCSI, CEFESA, and NAFM partners make everything each and every one of us do possible. They constantly strive to improve their practices and processes of the industry, and in doing so, improve the people within it. I had the pleasure of seeing this firsthand at some of their recent conferences. From NAFM's fantastic annual meeting in February in Savannah, Georgia, to FCSI's Rockin' Conference in Austin, Texas, just last week. All of us strive to improve ourselves, our processes, and our resources. But none of it would be possible without the dedicated volunteers that lead the organizations. Volunteers like Rich Packer of American Metalcraft, who, who served a great two years as president of NAFM, furthering an initiative to end food insecurity with Feeding America. In just four years, NAFM members have donated over 34 million meals to their neighbors fighting hunger through their signature social purpose program. The bar has certainly been raised, but I know incoming president Steve Spittle, CCO of Middleby Corporation, will do an equally impressive job. I feel fortunate to call NAFM Executive Vice President Deidre Flynn and Charlie Serrata, Vice President Regulatory and Technical Affairs, not only close colleagues, but now close friends. The same can be said for the great folks at FCSI. Their conference was terrific and highlighted the great creative forces moving the consultant community to new heights. FCSI Chair Christine Guillaume is a true leader in every way. I want to give a shout out to FCSI past chair Eric Norman, who was recently elected as FCSI Worldwide President and Executive Director Wade Kaler for their great hospitality. This September, Alice and I will have the honor to attend FIDA's conference in Colorado Springs, Colorado. We look forward to learning about all the great initiatives led by FIDA Chair Dave Stafford of Stafford Smith Inc. and Tracy Mulqueen, President and CEO. Rounding out the fall, we will be back in Savannah, Georgia in October for Cefesa's conference and look forward to being amazed by their educational program and member engagement, a direct result of the great leadership of Nick Cribb, President of Sam Service Inc. and Executive Director Heather Price. Additionally, a huge shout out to our buying group partners who joined us in California from Cefesa, Pride, Centric Resources, and XL Nisco. As you remember, CIFA stepped up huge for our reps as our diamond sponsor for MOFC 2024. Thank you to Kelly Kane and their team. Allison will be attending the CIFA conference later this month in Colorado. We will continue the Allied Love with Mofsi, NAFM, and Cefesa Allied Mixer at NRA on Friday, May 17th from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the JW Marriott. All members of these three associations are welcome to register by May 13th. Through my travels, I've learned that we each have our unique challenges and opportunities, but we have a lot more in common. We're all people, people working hard for our families, customers, colleagues, and this great industry. That's all for now. Stay well.